What I love about main architecture and the local buildings is the ruddy ones. They're not beautiful buildings per se, but they're real, they survived, they're interesting, they're completely unique to this area. We focused on the icon of icons of sort of rural vernacular main architecture, the peaked roof, simple form making. The idea with these windows was always about playing with this extremely strong game of symmetry. You know, you can really recognize as the old fashioned double hung windows. Most people, their, their sort of vision of the window when it's in the domestic home scale is a little tiny thing that goes up and down and a little breeze, this and that, but it's not this glorious, lovely, big, full on view of the field that goes floor to ceiling. That's, that's modernism. The unique thing about it is the super energy efficiency. Sunlight comes in and it warms the space and we have a good building shell, retains the heat, and we use that basically as a heating system for the building. Anybody ideally could have a house that doesn't need to have a heating bill. If we don't take a, a careful approach to resources that are available on this earth, we're going to be left with buildings that have resource requirements that uh, far out exceed what the earth is going to be able to provide easily. What's the world going to look like in a hundred years? Price of oil is three dollars a gallon, doubles in cost every ten years. And I think if I'm doing my job well, I'm making a building that's going to work a hundred years from now and is going to be great a hundred years from now. The vernacular piece, the environmental piece, the energy performance piece, the need for solar gain, this specific site we're building in, all of that informed this design response. We're sort of building local in the sense that there's all these wonderful examples of beautiful main buildings that have been here forever because they worked. If the buildings did not res respond to the environment, the people would not be able to survive in them. This is Maine, you know, it has a very low-key but inspirational quality to it.